Hi, welcome back YouTubers to my channel. Welcome never done off of my stay. If you're new to my channel, I love new on um, SD. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stuff with SD Jesus and John, along with other tips and advice along the way, be it with your health issues or mental health, or even some other bits and pieces in between, be it, you know, something for your entertainment, or my, hopefully you'll see some motivational videos, which today is the day for one of them, and such a wee sleep while I'm away, missing in action, and popping around in your guys' groups. So this one's obviously is going to be a motivational video and this one's going to be conquering and rising above everything. So hopefully I'll enjoy this, smash the like and let me know and comment below so to speak. So let's begin this. Just because you feel alone basically and empty along with all these other feelings that it has conjured with you in the terms of loveliness, emptiness, helplessness, guilt, shame and the like. Just because there's something wrong or is going on in your life, it is going wrong basically right now of whatever the situation or circumstance, be it if you've been a broken down marriage, be it if you've got a broken down relationship, be it if you just feel like that you're alone. Some of the setbacks that you have set your aims and goals high for of this year, here's so maybe or has been holding your back or down as well maybe of an everyday situation be it if that particular relationship that you had you thought was right for you but now you feel you need to let go of that particular someone that is toxic remove all this self-doubt however as well as the self-negativity this is important and the number one key will to rise above this just remember, no one or nobody will be going on the same legal journey of the road that you're taking right now of life with you. Yes, it will be short as a tough road for you. Yes, it will be a lonely one, but it will be well worth it to get into your greatness. Remove everything in your life that doesn't belong in your life, as well as all this self-negativity, self-doubt in yourself and whatnot. Not everyone will come to your next level of greatness because not everyone has that same understanding or not that everyone will basically come on that same journey. As I said before, everybody's journey is different, no matter where they're at in their lives. Because obviously in this day and age, also with this, of the people not coming to your next level of greatness, basically they're not willing to sacrifice themselves with their own every well-being of whatever they're focusing on right now. What it takes to greatness is so the ones that were pushing you forward to keep on motivating you, they'll be left behind obviously if you did end up aiming high for these goals and dreams that you had in mind, regardless of what it may be. This will happen at the very start of your journey. You will have people rooting you, supporting you, no matter what it may be you say, but they may not finish with you and end up being with you on the sideline to this journey. Even though once the journey started, it shouldn't have to end in that way of just losing people along the way. It's just the reason of life. The ones that have held you back may in turn turn away from you or go against you. You can't allow what's not yours to become a blessing and you'll have to fall now and again and pick yourself up time and time again while you've fallen. To become a better you, a better imagery of you, a better person, better of everything else in between of the situation. You can't allow the situation to stop you unless you choose to. And as always, the choice is yours. Do you choose to allow that particular someone or something that has hindered you in blessing in a situation or do you choose to basically ignore and just deactivate it and keep on pushing forward to get out of that comfort zone just to maintain that greatness, maintain your self-worth, maintain your self-respect for yourself. Do you wish to stop yourself? Because obviously at the end of the day you're your own worst enemy for stopping what is to come based on maybe your fear, self-doubt and everything else. Hence why I said before to remove this self-doubt and negativity. In order to move up to that next stage or level in life, there's a few situations or situations you may have to choose to give up on regardless. But it doesn't mean to give up on everything, just some things to give you that order of peace, clarity and understanding to what your life is all about. In order to get ahead, there are a few things you'll have to leave behind, be it your family, friends, past relationships that didn't even work, that held you back. Holding on to your limitations won't help you reach to your destiny. 
your journey. Caring was dead right around, obviously. Won't forever bring out the dead and the negative circumstances and won't bring out the good. If you let the fear of losing people around you that has controlled you, manipulated you, or what have you in this day and age, basically, will cause you then to lose yourself and amongst it all. This is your life. This is your chance opportunity this is your journey this is your one shot chance as many would say you've got only one chance one opportunity or the one that sings it with Eminem of losing yourself this isn't about perfection or being perfect even though we're, yes we are obviously you know flawed and imperfected but we can be perfected but it's about becoming better, stronger and independent and wiser in our own selves and our own everyday choices and everyday life of what we get up to. I'll be real with you right now, based on my life experiences, yes I've struggled, you know, I've had to cut some of my losses along the way. Weaknesses are real, however, and part of your journey will be real too. Sometimes you'll have to go through the worst and Darkest moments is what life is throwing at you before you dance out in the sunshine and glorious rain. You know, there'd there be thunders and storms before there'd be sunshine, as I always say. Sometimes you have to lose everything to gain something back in return. Or gain everything. Don't let this discourage you, however, and just let it build you with courage, peace and hope, regardless of it all. You know, you can do this. I believe in you. You'll never get your success by being in this process of basically having these doubts and negativities and everything else that doesn't belong in there to have your blessings and successes. I will never grow in spirit without any pain, losses or more. Believe you me, I've been through it all. The valley may be ugly, but I promise you that the peak will be beautiful once you climb to the top. So never stop climbing. The only way to go up is keep moving forward and the only way to proceed is keep on going forward. Yet the circumstances may change, however, and test us through the good and bad and the ugly, as well as testing us through our patience and everything. Everything tests us for a reason and a time and a season. Along with everything else, it teaches us everyday life lessons, like our life is our teacher teaching us life lessons along the way. Don't give up on you, however. Just because others gave up on you in the first place doesn't mean for you to do the same. Don't stop believing in you just because they didn't believe in you. What they think, say about you, shouldn't really matter at all. Because at the end of the day, it's just words. How they felt about you and said about you shouldn't change about how and what you feel about you and yourself. What matters is what you think about yourself. How you feel in yourself. You know, nobody cares about or care, care about you, but yourself. Sad fact, but reality, in this day and age, many people want to just focus on just, you know, their own journey and not just climb to the top ladder of success. And no matter what, they'll try to knock down the little men that has been trying to climb up their, you know, ladder of success as well, regardless. Sad fact, but it, I've seen it all before. Dealt with it too, to be frank. Again, as I said before, obviously your competition is no one else's. Nobody cares about you but yourself. Winners focus is on winning, right? Keep yourself and your eye on that prize of what you want from that prize. You can rise above the lies and everything else in your life. Rise above the hate, rise above the jealousy, rise above the insecurities of others around you. Rise above the fakeness. Rise above anything or anyone that has held you back or down. If this will allow you to just go through it, the strength to strength, greatness to greatness. Never back down when your back is turned against the wall. No matter how many times you you fell on, it's up to you to get back up and actually get yourself off and start again. And up to you to stay up once you've fallen down. Do you choose to let that situation or person to keep you holding it into bondage. It's about your talent, your dreams, your goals, your visions. The point of the matter is dreaming is to plan and make it your reality. Speak likeness in the life, speak love into your life. Be a real model in life, a motivator in your life. Your ordinary 
is your situation and destination. Find a way in your life to life and make a standing choice today at the very end. Obviously, as I said, the choice is yours. Your regret of the chances and opportunities to make. The only limit is you. Take these chances and opportunities to help you grow in spirit, in mind, and health, and everything. Don't let make these weaknesses your struggles. Let these struggles surrender to you. And as you surrender, you'll find the greatness in yourself. Listen up. As we know, pain is forever temporary. Whatever we go through of our everyday struggles will become our greatness in those times. But giving up is forever Never give up on what you're going through. Is there something better on the other side? As I said, there will be sunshine after the rain has fallen, of the, as well as the storm. You've never come this far to settle. You don't come here to accept what it is now. Take your fear to the next level. You've come this far for a reason. Your proving to the haters that there's more to life than just hate, unforgiveness, bitterness, and so much more. For your dream, fashion, business, and future, don't forever stop working on them. When your destination has been worth reaching, that path will, won't always be perfect, but it will be leading you to that path of greatness. Well, this quickly ends a real short video for you guys of a motivation never of this one. Smash the like button, comment below. Feel free to let me know if you would like to hear from me, hopefully do some more motivational videos. And hopefully I'm saying this, I'll be out and about hopefully to share in a different surrounding besides the four walls hopefully as well of what's maybe coming up this year and where I am in the tiny New Zealand where I am. Feel free to follow me on my social media sites. Feel free if you feel to or you want to join me on the bandwagon as a YouTube fan band. Basically so that you can keep up to date by subscribing on the bottom right hand corner of that screen will be our red subscription button. And while you're down there don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date with new content. So that hopefully in saying this that you'll be able to know what's going on so enough for the day guys thanks for support thanks for watching do what love love what you do until next time sp signing out and i'll see you again